Well, hello there. My name is the Crazy Frenchman. This is my channel, and this is a real story. In 2019, I was working in a drug rehab as a counselor. <clears throat> I had just arrived in Sherbrooke. I was brand new. I was living with two roommates, one who was a work colleague and one who was a resident. We were sort of watching, if you want. Anyways, nonetheless, back then, I was doing abandoned homes, going in, filming, storytelling, putting it on my channel, mainly in English, French, but a lot of just music going, you know, and we were having a good chat, me and my colleagues in the, the counseling office, when my other colleague that worked at night came to me and said, hey, do you believe in the Ouija board? The Ouija board? Yeah. Do you believe in the Ouija board? Nope. I don't believe in it. So he starts explaining to me how he acquired this said Ouija board. At one point, some resident came in to the drug rehab and wanted to be, um, wanted to join up and try to change his life, you know, and he had a Ouija board. Now, this person, hi there, the crazy Frenchman. This is a real story. It happened to me in 2019, October of 2019, and uh, hear how it goes. In, nine, in 2019, I was hired as a counselor in a drug rehab here in Sherbrooke. I lived with two roommates, one who, lived, who worked with me as a colleague and one who lived with me but was also a resident we tried to keep an eye on to make sure he was an okay kind of guy. And uh, as you know, on my channel, I have a lot of abandoned homes. No, videos of a lot of abandoned homes, mainly in French. And that's why my name mainly is the crazy Frenchman, because I am nuts. So anyways, put it this way. We were all sitting in the counselor office. It was about 1030 at night. And we were talking about my adventures, going here, going there, seeing cemeteries, blah, blah, blah. When my night colleague comes to me and says, hey, Steve. Do you believe in the Ouija board? I was like, heck no. I don't believe in that crap. I want nothing to do with that shit. Nope. Nope. Don't believe in it. But uh, how did you come to acquire a Ouija board? And he goes to me, oh, that's simple. He goes, we had some resident come up to, uh, a couple of years back and he wanted in. He wanted to change his life, stop doing drugs. And so at one point we decided, hey, if you want to start doing drugs, well, you're going to have to start, you know, changing your life. So give us the Ouija board. And they put it in his office. And ever since, he's been having a lot of bad luck. Pfft, I don't believe in that crap. So he goes, well, you don't believe in this shit? Cool. Hey, you know, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go and get that Ouija board. And I'll just hand it to you. And you do whatever you want with it. If you want to throw it in the garbage, if you want to keep it, up to you. Depends on you. So I go, sure. No problem. He made a Ouija board. So he goes into his office, goes into some kind of like a, I don't know, locker, grabs the Ouija board, comes on back. Hey, here it is. So I grab the Ouija board and there's a date on it. Yeah, there's a date on it. May 1945. Fuck it. Okay, cool. So I go home. I put it on this desk, put candles around it, try to make it look good, you know, scary kind of thing. We were almost near Halloween, you understand. We were in October 2019, so trying to make it look like Halloweenish, and uh, that's it. Leave it there. Now, one of my roommates, the one that was a resident and that we were keeping an eye on at one point, decides, I don't know, I, yeah, true. I had a Visa credit card, which I used to go online and buy like everybody else on Amazon, like uh, goods, you know, and whatever and whatnot. And uh, that day I was going to Best Buy, buy myself a TV. And so I just want to make sure that I still have that $500 credit on it. 
So I called Visa credit card that early in the morning. And that's when I found out that that morning at 5 a.m., I had spent $15. And I was like, what the fuck? And I go, well, if I spent $15 this morning and I don't rem- recall, I must have have you know, must have had a couple of more, you know, spending sprees of a few dollars. And she goes, oh, well, as a matter of fact, yes. So in all, I was missing about $45. And of that $45, I couldn't buy my TV and I was really pissed off. And so I just, you know, canceled out my card and my roommate started playing the victim and nobody understood him and blah, blah, blah. And he fucked off. The next day I went to see the, you know, the direction and, you know, direction. I know uh, the owners of the rehab and they wouldn't believe me. They wouldn't believe my story. And who cares? Anyways, that's not part of what I'm saying. This one bad luck. And up to that moment, many bad lucks have happened, but that one was pretty bad. So anyways, that following morning, Monday morning, I show up to uh, the secretary's office to give her my rent. And we were just about, you know, Thursday was going to be the 31st. So I was going to pay her before I went to Montreal during the weekend. So I went to see her at her office and give her the money for the rent. And she goes, oh, oh, no, I'm sorry. She goes, uh, keep the money. Keep the money. You're out by Thursday. And I was like, what? <clears throat> out by Thursday I mean what have I done wrong she goes to me oh no 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 you haven't done anything wrong mind you nothing at all nope no we need you out because you see they're building my home right now and I don't have a place to live and I'm the sister to one of the two owners of the business and well he's not gonna let me go out in the street so well you are so I'm coming over to your place, taking you, your place over, and you're out. I was like, pardon me, and there was nothing I can do about it. Absolutely nothing about it. So of course, yeah, okay, they found me a place to live, sure, and yeah, whatever. I went there, but the following day, when I had to pack up my stuff, pack up my ego, and fuck off, that's when I saw a Ouija board. And I was like, holy jeez. Since the beginning, this friggin' piece of wood has been damaging my life like crazy. I'm not going to take it with me. No fucking way. So after I took all of my stuff out on that Wednesday night, I left the Ouija board right in front of the door. So as to when she opened the door, first thing she would see is the Ouija board. So I leave it right there on the floor with a thank you very much, have a nice day, and I fuck off. The very next day on Thursday morning, I go to work at my rehab, and I'm very astonished to find out when I get there that there's a yellow school bus filled with residents, and at the doorstep in front of the main entrance is a counselor, well, the chief counselor, that happens to be my direct boss, who's standing there and he wears my same last name. We have this, we share the same last name. And he starts laughing and he sees me and he's laughing his head off. Ha, 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 ha. So I look at him, I go, what the fuck's so funny? He goes, oh, don't. has nothing to do with your situation, but you're a lucky little bastard, aren't you? And I go, what? Lucky? You call this lucky? I got kicked out of my place for absolutely no reason. I, I start moving out. I have to go to work anyways. I mean, I don't consider that being lucky. He goes, well, f- consider it again. See, this morning where you used to live, completely flooded. The St. Francois River, that's right next door to where you used to live, flooded the entire place. And that's why we're taking in all the extra, all the old residents into our home. So you're a very lucky little bastard because you're living uphill. Water can't follow you. But uh, the lady, naming her name, that was supposed to move in there, she can't move in there for an extra two weeks. And the guy who was caught, or anyways, you caught stealing you, he's caught sort of babysitting the place until everything goes out. So, I mean, you're a very good little, you know, very lucky little bastard. So let me tell you one thing about Ouija boards, okay? If you don't believe them, Belongs to you. I don't care. 
but they're 100 percent true and i could tell you for fir- from first hand experience don't mess with a friggin ouija board thank you very much the crazy frenchman